what uh, strategies do you use to bounce back when you're knocked off the, the course in the day or when you're working towards a goal and you come through some adversity? Yeah. Yeah. So thank man, you. Okay. That's, a, that's a great question. Cause that never happens. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing ever fails. What are you talking right? about? Hakeem, yes. man, man, I'm, I'm freaking, <laughs> you know, I'm riding unicorns all day, brother. Come on. You know, uh, bareback for that matter. So, um, <laughs> No, you know, I, I do, I do a couple of things. Um, one, one of them is, uh, just, I go back to my why, you know, I, I, I go back and I focus on why I'm doing what it is that I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, hypothetically. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you, you know, so the why is really important for me because it, it, it regrounds me. Okay. Yeah. Because when I'm falling off or, or I, I feel like I'm getting knocked around, I need to re-anchor myself back in my why for me, not for yeah. everybody else or anybody else, but for me. So that's the first thing that yeah. I do. The other thing that I do, and this is a cool strategy, maybe, maybe this will resonate with, with, uh, with you all and, and you can use it, but I try to, I try to um, expand the space between stimulus and response. OK, you, you get what I'm saying there, right? Because oftentimes when we feel like we're getting knocked off or things aren't going the way we want, that space between stimulus and response actually compresses. Right. I try to expand that. So so I do it. I, here's the process that, that I've I've kind of come up with and, and used, and it works really. I, I love it. It's helped me greatly. So maybe it'll help you guys if I when I dump it on you here. Um, so if something comes at me. Maybe maybe someone um, you know changes their mind on a deal, or they don't want to invest X dollars, or it's not the way I wanted something to, to, to play out. The first thing I'll do, I'll say to my head, and, and I got a little voice in my head. I, I call myself, dude. I go, huh, dude, <laughs> huh? That's interesting. Mm, that's so. I'll start with a question, right? I like that's interesting. I'm not. I'm not putting an emotion to it. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm that's just judging. saying. It's interesting. Just asking a question. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. You're examining. Yeah. I'm going to step back. That's interesting, right? Yeah. Then the second part of it is the question. I go, huh, I wonder how that can work out. Mm. So right? you're, so, like, the, what's the, you're playing it forward now, visualizing yes. what could happen. Yes. And, and I'm, and I'm looking at it from a place of curiosity, not from preconceived judgments or, oh, I know how this is going to play out. I know what's <laughs> going to happen here. I've seen this movie before. This is where I get screwed, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Jump into the conclusions. The right, negative too. Right, right. So, so just by asking like that, like there's, there's two pieces. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder how that can work out actually gets me to a different place so I can actually think more proactively. Here's the other cool thing about it, right? Here, this, this is the best part is I, I've actually used that with the people that I've, I've been working with. Like they'll, I'll be on the phone or on a zoom and I'll go, huh, that's interesting. I'm like, so I wonder how, how, how can we make that work out? Right. So now I'm bringing them into a solution right? I'm bringing them into a conversation that makes them part of a collaborative piece, right? That isn't like me saying, you suck, that's wrong. I'm getting screwed. I'm delivering more value, right? All those things that are just going to blow up opportunity. So anyhow, um, that, that's what I use, you know, ground, reground myself on my why. And then I use the, those two steps to try to expand that space from stimulus yeah. to response. Is stimulus that, to that, response. And I'm, 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 I'm furiously typing because I think I really do want people to, to get this and see it on the replay. Um, right. it's great. And plus my sister's listening and she's deaf. So in the, we don't have the auto captions on. So I love you, Paulette. But expand the space between stimulus and response. And how could this uh, work out or how can, out, this, or how can out? this how can this play out? Right. Yeah. Yeah, because, um, because we, we, we're not, we don't want to, the challenge is when we get knocked around and off course, Hakeem, I mean, that was a great question, man. I hope that helps you and serves you. Uh, but it, it's often because we're, we're, we, we're assigning an emotion to a preconceived outcome. And we've got to re realize and recognize that we don't own the outcome because other people are involved. Other circumstances are involved. Other situations are at play that we just can't control. Yeah. And I got another question before I get there, though, I, I do want to add my two cents and when uh, for bouncing back. One of yeah. the things before I go off the deep end, which I tend to do. You know, <laughs> once in a is that, one, is that when I go and get and get get a drink and come back and you're, you're back. still rolling hot? OK, I, I say, is this a symptom or is this, you know, systematic? 
Oh, you know, is it symptom or systematic? Is, 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 am I here because of a system that I've built that's that's leading to this? Or is this a symptom that maybe I was just off? Maybe I uh, didn't read it right. Yeah, it's cursory. It's a high level. I misread it. Or is this something that's that's systematic? It's you know with built into my process that I need to pay attention or else it's going to be habit forming. Yeah, right. So right. That, that's how I bounce back because like, oh, okay, I see it. And I just kind of, it is it is what it is but you put it in the little folder there that you can get to pretty quickly. Thanks for watching that video segment. If you enjoyed it and like to see more content just like that one, click over here. If you'd like to see that video in its entirety, click over here. Thank you.